Hello friends, the sun is up and we are out on Via Francicina another day. We were sleeping with the royal deers another night. They were moving around our tent and we even saw one baby today's morning. That's amazing that we got to see them that often and we stay in the places where they like to stay. We like it a lot. Just seeing and hearing them, that's that's great to us. The only disturbing thing that happened today is that we got all beaten up by mosquitoes very badly, like all over the body, legs, spine, you know, yeah. stomach. That's too bad and now we're itching like crazy, you know. Especially in the places where the backpack is sitting and yeah, this is this is really annoying, but we hope we can deal with that today. Today we plan to do around 13 kilometers because with no shadow and the day is very hot. So we'll stick with this plan and let's go. The problem with this dirt car roads that we have to hike through all time on the via. There is lots of dust when the cars passing by. And they're picking up a lot of the ground and sand and it all ends up on you, on your pants, you know, everywhere. And this is quite annoying because there's still quite a lot of traffic and you see the, the signs of 50 somewhere, like a limit of 50 kilometers per hour, which in our opinion is too fast for these car roads, but they seem to treat these roads like a normal payment. All we can see is no forest and shadow in front of us. That is scary. We don't know how we're gonna do it today because already yesterday we were like about to quit. <laughs> today it's maybe worse. We don't know. There is interesting information about the animals, flora and fauna that is living in the region. And we've spotted several of these animals, like, for example, of course, road deer, a lot of them, some kind of partridges, hares, quite a lot of hares we haven't seen anywhere before, so, so much of them. Wild boars didn't see and didn't hear them, but we suppose that they're living here, herons or egrets. And eagles or hawks, we, we didn't see at all, like, don't know if they actually exist. And what what surprises us is seeing like porcupine, or it looks like a porcupine with little, with really long needles. And we just would be surprised to see such an animal. Maybe it's very rare, but not sure. And yeah, this these birds don't don't know how they called. We've seen these ones and several snakes, lots of snakes. Yeah, and owls, of course, owls. We've heard them at night. Foxes, probably they're here. 
So hopefully all of these animals are still living here and they didn't get extinct. Because this is really important to support the fauna and I think they need more forest actually than it is here. This bridge that we're walking through right now had to be a really old medieval bridge made out of rocks, but right now it probably got destroyed several years ago and right now it's like more or less more than one, but it feels quite unstable and it says like 400 kilograms is max on it. So this is not really solid construction, but something interesting in the way. We just passed through the thermal baths that were in use old Roman times and there are quite a lot of them in the region. Now we've got to tackle the biggest uphill of the day, which is around 3.5 kilometers to the village Castiglione Dolcia. And we think it's not bad if it's going mostly in the shadow. We're all ready for it. Having a little bit of ice cream for a snack, just got from the supermarket. And it looks very huge, but it's actually very easy to eat. It looks like yogurt, and very creamy and soft, so let's eat now. The second half of the trail we are out on the sunburned hills with little to no shadow at all and that is great you know in the middle of the day that's that's really nice to walk in the direct, direct sunlight we have to go through in order to get to the camp spot a little forest in between the fields and a secluded camp spot that is crazy lots of spiky plants and really bad downhill but there is really no other forest around us just the vineyards and make it feel so hard to find a good spot
Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below to let us know how you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Also visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Have a beautiful day everybody and until very soon!